Hmm, which channel do I want to watch? Oh, here's my car. My car's on TV. <laughs> I'll watch that one. here today I'm in northern Nevada way up north of Reno near uh, where the Burning Man festival is held that's the playa where they have Burning Man way out there but there's also a lot of other interesting stuff in this area like hot springs ghost towns old abandoned mines I never have time to explore that when I'm up here for Burning Man because well <laughs> I'm usually not in any condition to be exploring, <laughs> but I'm also, you know, towing my trailer and I don't have the mobility that I have right now. I'm just up here in my Forerunner and we're gonna go adventuring around up in this area for four or five days and check out some hot springs and attractions in the area. And the first thing we're checking out is this weird <laughs> art road called Guru Road or Doobie Road. And it's got all these weird, uh, supposedly has a lot of weird, interesting art along it so let's check that out wow look at this intense rock art somebody spent a lot of time making this thing oh sorry i didn't mean to get in your picture <laughs> well i don't even know what this stuff means look at this one though the devil is an angel next to saddam hussein yikes how about this words are the only thing that lasts forever hmm i'm not sure Sure, I believe that, but oh look, there's another one up here on this hill. Somebody spent a lot of time making all these little sayings. It's interesting. Oh, uh, here's a good one. Everybody must get stoned, Bob Dylan. A trip you will never forget. Guru, heavy honored guide mystic. Wow, I don't know what all these mean, but it's kind of interesting. A lady who gave of herself and gave and gave, Bernice Iveson. Dave Iveson has pickup and will travel. Well, I think I, my friends know the Ivesons. They have a ranch up here. Tomcat and Diana Rios. I almost thought it said Diana Ross. Okay, look at this. It's a Elvis shrine. Kind of reminds me there's an Elvis shrine out in Saline Valley too. But this is more impressive than what I was able to find in Saline Valley. Somebody drank a lot of beers to make this. <laughs> But he liked Elvis. Let's see what's on the back. That was pretty cool. Dang, it's like chain mail made out of beer can bottoms. But you know, maybe it's not beer, it could be soda cans. Anyways, we need to keep going down this road because we got a lot of adventures ahead of us. Wow, look at all these motorcycle license plates from all around the country and Canada too. That's cool. Some kind of like I think it's a motorcycle or off-road biker kind of a shrine because there's all these names of people, winners, and then what made me think that is, look at this, the world's toughest motorcycle rider, the Iron Butt Association. Ha <laughs> ha Ever hear of the Iron Butt Association? I guess these were all... Uh, all these names here must have been members. Oh look, do not take anything from Guru Road, property of the Iron Butt Association. Boy, it's really sad that they even have to write that. I don't know why anybody would, but you know people. Okay, further along Guru Road, come to this little shrine. This is interesting. It's got all these weird little statues. There's a Cheshire cat and then just messages, memorials, I guess, to people who passed away. It's really interesting. It looks like some of it's Burning Man related because that X-shaped figure is a Burning Man symbol. But I don't know, it could also just be local people in the area. Okay, now look here. <laughs> Thanks for the comments. This is the comment box. Let's see if there's anything in it. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff in it. I don't know about comments though. Cute. Look at this creepy, creepy teepee. <laughs> the creepy teepee. <laughs> Leave your hang-ups here. Yeah, just a bunch of sticks with 
skulls and dolls and there's like a sawzall or something on there too. Dang, that is intense. I wonder what the deal is. Look at this. There's a leg. <laughs> Bones. Barbies. Yeah. Oh, and then look here. It's like a little pet cemetery, I think. Little memorials to a pets because there's a little dog and a rabbit. And then, I don't know, it just looks like Bootsy, Fluffy, Sheba. Those are Muffin. Those are pet names, right? Oh, look here. The Black Rock Hitching Post Wedding Chapel. Huh. Oh, look. Looks like some people were really married here. Gary and Susie Beck. A marriage made in stone will last forever. I love you, Tony. Mary Duran. Oh, I don't know if they were really married here or if it's just graffiti, but wow, that's interesting. Or not graffiti. I guess that's more of a petroglyph if it's carved into a rock. Cute. I mean, I'm not the marrying type myself, but if I were, I could get married at a place like this. This beautiful desert in the background. Look how peaceful that playa is without 75,000 hippies running around. Okay, wow, look at this thing. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. The Desert Broadcasting System Imagination Station in Doobie Vision. The Sagebrush Network. Look at this. Come on in. Look at how friggin' cool this is. It's like a hut with a TV antenna. You walk through this archway made of bones. And then it's kind of like a living room, I guess. A little armchair and a bunch of televisions to watch from all the time zones of the world. How friggin' cool, you guys. Hmm, which channel do I want to watch? That's the door. That's not really a channel. Oh, here's my car. My car's on TV. <laughs> I'll watch that one. Or, I don't know. The mountain. <laughs> I'll tell you which one I don't want to watch is this channel. No, thank you. I wonder who this guy was. Okay, wow. That little guru road was pretty cool and definitely worth uh, taking a little detour down. It was hard to tell if the little writings on the rocks were done by locals in the area or if they were done by people coming here for, from Burning Man because a lot of the inscriptions, <laughs> I didn't shoot them because I didn't want to start a flame war in the comment section, but a lot of the rocks had really liberal inscriptions on them, pro-Clinton, uh, pro-liberal stuff. So that I mean, I would assume that the people who live up here, the ranchers, are fairly conservative. So that kind of makes me think it must have been Burning Man people who did it. But I don't know. Maybe it is just a bunch of liberal ranchers up here. Who can say? But if it was the Burning Man people who did it, I can't imagine that the local conservatives would let that stand. It seems like they would have gone and defaced them. Especially because, you know, there's more and more of these Burning Man hippies that are moving up here. As a matter of fact, you might have seen in the news that they bought the Fly Geyser ranch. If you look up the fly geyser, it's this beautiful multicolored rock formation, almost like a little volcano, but like psychedelic colors. And it has an actual geyser shooting out of it. Well, guess what? It's here, but I can't go in because these damn hippies bought it. I mean, I, to be fair, I think it was on private property beforehand as well, whoever they bought it from. So you couldn't go to it then either, but Ah, it drives me nuts. I would, I'm a hot springs nut. I would love to go to that geyser, but no trespassing. There's trail cameras set up and there's a, I think that's probably just a decoy trailer with a security guard supposedly in it, but you never know. I'm not going to trespass. I don't like to break the law, but I think there is an area down the road where I can at least <laughs> see it from a very great distance. So I guess I'll have to settle for that. Okay, I had to drive down the highway to a spot where the road turns and look through this barbed wire fence. Now this is a digital zoom, so it's really going to suck, but that's it. You can see it out there. Unfortunately, it doesn't look anything like all those pictures on Instagram where it's all multicolored and beautiful because I can't get friggin' close enough to see. But it's pretty cool, even from a distance. You can see quite a bit of steam coming off of it. I think supposedly the hippies or the Burning Man organization people who own this now are going to open it up for tours um, next year, maybe like ecological tours. I'm not sure if just anybody will be able to go in or how that'll work, but 
Well, hopefully if I'm up in this area again next year and I'm not towing 50,000 pounds worth of crap, I'll be able to come check it out. Anyway, that was the first part of my little trip up here in remote northern Nevada. Hope you enjoyed that little look at Guru Road and the Fly Geyser Hot Spring, if only from a great distance. So next, we're gonna head out across the playa where they hold Burning Man and check out Black Rock Hot Spring. So stay tuned.